Don't put okay. your hands on me, okay? Okay. I'm escorting you. Are you refusing to leave? Why do I need to leave? It's private property. It's private property? Yes, sir. You're San Antonio police? Yes, sir. So you're patrolling private property? What are you hiding in there? I'm not hiding anything, sir. Obviously you are if you won't let me walk around. You're, you're obviously hiding something. Can I get your name and badge number, sir? It's right here, sir. Right here? Do you spell that R-I-T-E? W R I G H T. Or what? You're gonna be arrested. Or I will be arrested. There you go. There's the magic words. That's all you had to say. You just earned yourself a federal lawsuit. Hey, what's up, guys? Long Island Audit here. Back again with another video. Today we're at the Migrant Resource Center here in San Antonio, Texas. We're here today to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas to promote transparency and accountability within our government and to ensure that our public servants recognize our rights and treat us with respect. Let's get into it. All right, fellow patriots, let's take a look around the facility here. Yes. Can't come over here. Who are you, sir? What are you doing? Hey, how are you? Can I help you? No, I don't need any help. Um, your names? I'll take your names. Just have a minute, sir. We gotta go. We'll, we'll talk to you over here. Okay. You get out of here, okay. Why do I need to leave? It's a private property. It's private property? Yes, You're San Antonio police? So you're patrolling private property? Me, Lisa. Are you are you patrolling private property, sir? You're not though, right? This is this is city property, correct? Yep. Me, Lisa. This is taxpayer funded property, correct, sir? Yep. Me, right? Lisa. Okay. As long as we're we're on the same page that it's taxpayer funded property. Because it is. Yep. Me, Lisa, okay. Why would that be if this is taxpayer funded property, sir? May I get your name? Yes, I already told you, sir. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. What was it? Ramos? And Perez. Yes. 918 and 1164. Yeah. Like I said, this is city property, so we shouldn't have any issues here. I know you said it was private property, but it's not. Yeah. That's why you're San Antonio police and you're here. If it was private property, you would have no business to be here, right? Yeah. But this is public property, yeah. sir. What does escort me out mean? Why can't I be here? But why is that? I want to know why. Come on, sir. Why is that? Can I speak to your supervisor, please? Right. Here you go. Can I speak to your supervisor, please, officer? Yes, I need to go. I need to take you out of here, okay, sir? But why is that? I'm not breaking any laws. This is public property. This is not a restricted area. Okay. All right. Not one I'm here. All right. One, sir. I would like to speak to a supervisor, please. Okay. Don't put okay. your hands on me, okay? Okay. I'm escorting you. Are you refusing to leave? I'm, Are you refusing to leave at this point, sir? Is that a lawful order you're giving me to leave? Yes. Right now, you, I am. All right. I'd like to speak to a supervisor. Okay. This is public property. I have every right to be here. I want to make it clear just for the federal lawsuit. If I don't leave, are you going to arrest me? It's a possibility. It's a possibility. It's a yes or no, sir. This is public property. You have no right to do this. Okay. I'd like to speak to your supervisor. Okay. Can I get your name and badge number, sir? Hi, how are you? Can I get your name and badge number, sir? Can you go to the property, sir? Step outside, sir. Can I get your name and badge number, sir? It's right here, sir. Right here? Do you spell that R-I-T-E-W-R-I-G-H-T? How do you spell right here? Even in Texas, you have officers named right here, huh? Can I get your name and badge number, ma'am? Is it right here as well? Right there. Okay, so it's a little bit different than right here. It's right there. Got it. I want to, can you call a supervisor? I want you to call a supervisor. 
I want you to call supervisor. Okay. I'm not on. Are you refusing to leave the property? I'm not on the property. At the end of the gate. I am not on the property. Okay. This is a public sidewalk. This is in line with the public sidewalk. I looked at the GIS surveys, so you can go ahead and arrest me. This is a public sidewalk, so go ahead and arrest me. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is a public sidewalk. I've already looked at the GIS surveys. Okay. So you can go ahead and then you could lose your qualified immunity and then I can hold you accountable in federal court. I've done it many times before, officer. I, I would okay. highly suggest you don't, you don't involve yourself in something that you, you, you're not going to win. You're not going to win it. Okay. I want to speak to your supervisor. As per your policy, you're to, you're to call your supervisor when a member of the public acts to speak to your supervisor and I'm asking you to speak to your supervisor, sir. Can you call one? Eight minutes. Did you rounds? Is or did you call him? I didn't see you call anyone. Okay. This is not even restricted area. Oh, do I want to get unlawfully arrested in San Antonio today? Hmm really don't want to have my freedom taken away from me but you guys are making it very difficult because you're not you're not allowing transparency and accountability in the first amendment inside of a public publicly funded area this is publicly funded this is a taxpayer funded area so i'm hoping if i speak to your supervisor he will understand and he will prevent you from doing something you're going to regret So if I go into the taxpayer-funded property, sir, are you going to arrest me? I just need to know. Are you going to arrest me? Because I'm going to go over there then. Sir, you can't come in here, okay? By whose order? Your order? So you're not authorized to be in here, sir? How am I not authorized to be in here? This is not a restricted area. Okay, sir. Who's authorized to be in here? Isn't this a migrant resource center? Are you a migrant, sir? Do you Have you asked me if I'm a migrant or not? I just asked you, yeah. are you a migrant, sir? So I need resources, right? Okay, sir. So can I get resources? This is a migrant, this is funded by taxpayers, a migrant resource center. City of Antonio, San Antonio, excuse me. City yeah, of San, San Antonio. Antonio sir. Yeah, okay. excuse me. City of San Antonio. Yes, sir. Migrant resource center, correct? That's what this is? This is a migrant resource center, sir. The si funded by the city, right? And the taxpayers? Okay, sir. Okay, so what's the issue? You can't come in here, sir. What are you hiding in there? I'm not hiding anything, sir. Obviously you are if you won't let me walk around. You're, you're obviously hiding something. Right? You're hiding something. Okay, There's sir. something in there you don't want me to see. Let me make sure I get these individuals over here. Is this your supervisor right here? Yes, sir. Can I speak to you, please? So we have four San Antonio police officers here protecting this migrant resource center from members of the public. I'm not exactly sure why. Hello? I think he said I could just go back in. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. He said okay, he sir. went like this. Don't put your hands on me. I'm sorry, I'm just giving you back, sir. Don't put your hands on me. Okay, sir. Don't put your hands on me. Okay, sir. De escalate the situation. Don't put your hands I'm, I'm on me, all right? To You're not. Okay, sir. Hey, how are you guys doing today? Are you, are you gentlemen supervisors? I'm a supervisor. You're a supervisor in your name, sir? Sergeant Alanis. Sergeant what? Alanis. Alanis, Sergeant Alanis. Nice to meet sir. you, sir. Nice to meet you, man. Hey, um, I'm just... Y'all can, well, uh, can go over there. To, uh, we'll switch out. So this is taxpayer-funded property, right? This is funded by taxpayers? Yeah, hang, hang, hang a step back a little bit, sir. You can't be on public. I can't what? You can't be inside here, sir. Why, why would that be? Because you're not allowed to. Why am I not allowed? Sir, you got to step back. This is taxpayer-funded property, yes, sir. sir. You got to step back. You can't be on property. Sir, this is taxpayer-funded property. Okay. Why am I not allowed to come in here? Because you're not 
Isn't this a migrant resource center, sir? You cannot come in here, sir. But why can't I? Is it a restricted area? Yes. Where does it say that it's restricted? It doesn't say it's restricted anywhere. This is, there's no gates or anything. This is open to the public. So I want to make it clear. Your officers already told me they wouldn't, they wouldn't answer the question. I want to make it clear. If I, if I go on this property, because this is, I want to make it clear. And your name was, sir? Detective Vasquez. Detective Vasquez. So Sarge, I want to make this very clear. You're t because I just want you to, I, I want, I want you to understand something. I'm an activist. This is what I do. I hold government accountable. And I, I've hold them accountable from New York City to a big government like New York City, and I'll hold San Antonio accountable. You're saying that if I go on taxpayer-funded property, you're going to arrest me. And I'm telling you, everybody else you've dealt with before me today, you've never met anybody like me because I will hold you accountable, Sergeant. So you're telling me this public property that's publicly accessible, I am not allowed to be here or you will arrest me, Sergeant? Sir, you can't get off property. Are you going to arrest me? I need to know if you're going to arrest me or not. How come these people are allowed in the property? How come she's allowed in the property? So I can go this way? No, you cannot. Why not? Because they are migrants that have come here and they have a brisk. Did you just check their... Yes, did I checked you che their arrest, man. You okay. Me. So I would, like to, I would like to apply for some services here then, sir. Okay, just wait here and we'll get somebody for you. Right, okay. Sergeant, I need you to be, I want to be clear, Sergeant. Sergeant, I want to be clear. You need to take a step back, sir. Sir, this is an entranceway. Stop. Come on, Sergeant, stop. Sergeant, stop. Sergeant, this is an entranceway. I'm not doing anything. Just, you need to de-escalate the situation. Sergeant, listen. Are you telling me, because I need to, this is my property. This is taxpayer-funded property, sir. Because I'm trying to have you hear me. This is taxpayer-funded property, sir. Why are you doing this? This is taxpayer-funded property. Are you telling me, all I need to know is, are you going to arrest me, Sergeant, if I go on taxpayer-funded property? I'm sorry? You can't come on property. On taxpayer-funded public property, right? Come on property, I would like to speak to your supervisor, Sergeant. You have somebody coming right now. This is ridiculous. What do you have to hide in here? What's wrong with me walking around on public property? This is public property, sir. Right now, I'm right in line with the with the sidewalk. See the sidewalk here, sir? I'm right in line with the sidewalk. It's fine right there. This is ridiculous. What are you hiding in here? It's just the Migrant Resource Center. What's the big deal? Or at least that's what it says. What it's supposed to be. So they have wristbands. So it's like a it's like a club, I guess. You get a wristband, ladies and gentlemen, and in that wristband, it's what gives you access to this property or not, huh? So if you're not a citizen, you can be on the property. Oh, I can't wait to litigate this with you in court. Cannot wait to litigate with the San Antonio Police Department and the City of San Antonio over this. This is ridiculous. So you're not a citizen. You have more rights on this property. That's funded for that's funded by taxpayers than taxpayers do. Are you kidding me? That doesn't make any sense. You are literally letting people in who aren't citizens and you're keeping out a United States citizen from the property. Does that make any sense? I want to see what our taxpayer money is going to. I want to take a look around. What's the big deal? You know somebody coming for you. Who? Who's coming? I don't understand. I don't I called for a supervisor. You came here and you're just as ignorant as the officers, sir. You're telling me that you're going, you're telling me I can't go on the property, but you're not, you won't even tell me if you'll arrest me or not. I don't want to get arrested, but at the end of the day, I've been arrested nine times, Sergeant. I'm on a level with you, okay? I've been arrested nine times since I've started my activism, and I promise you, all nine times I've had the charges dismissed and the officers have been sued and the city has been sued. So if you want to make it an even 10, we can do that. We can do that. Absolutely ridiculous.
Listen, if you want to use taxpayer money to help migrants, listen, that's up to the city. Nothing to do with me. But you're going to keep out taxpayers from evaluating what's going on here is absolutely ridiculous. And then your officer puts his hands on me. That's excessive force. I want to file a complaint against him. I know you think it's funny, but you can't put your hands on, on law-abiding citizens, sir. I don't know who taught you otherwise. I don't know if it was this sergeant. I don't know if it was another your academy, but you can't put your hands on law-abiding citizens. This is public property, publicly accessible. It's pretty sad that we're in the United States of America and I can't walk on a taxpayer-funded property because, because I know that you will arrest me <laughs> and you will take me to jail. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So as you can see here, ladies and gentlemen, there aren't any restricted area signs anywhere around here. How many officers are stationed here? A lot? Yeah, how, how many officers are stationed here? At least four, right? At least four? That's a lot of resources going to this uh, facility. Oh man, looks like we're gonna get arrested today. Number 10. Oh, I don't want to be arrested. It's private property that's it's private property that's funded by that's being taken over right now by the city of San Antonio, which means it is publicly accessible now. Because yes, because you're not in, you are paying the city of San Antonio is funding all of this, including you, you it's being not like here. City Hall, where you come and go. Of course you can. You could just walk in. This is public property. Of course you can. Have a blanket CT, a criminal trespassing order. If you come past you are you can, you can be arrested. a blanket criminal trespassing order for first this, of all i'm not even area. i'm not past the sidewalk number for this, one for this location for the, a specific law specifically for this location it was passed right here i'm not going inside okay. i'm going to stay in the parking lot no you're not going to stay in the parking lot you can stay out there you can film all you want out there you can talk to whoever you want out there you can't come in here So, Vasquez, if, if I come in here, y'all be arrested? That's all I need to hear. Why, why, is it, why is it so hard for you to say that? Just All you got to say is, if you come inside this property, we will arrest you. What's so hard about that? We're going to ask you to leave. If you don't leave, you'll be arrested. Okay, so if I come on the property, you're going to ask me to leave. And then, okay, I'm on the property. Okay, you need to get off property, sir. Or what? Or I will be arrested. There you go. There's the magic words. That's all you had to say. You just earned yourself a federal lawsuit. That's all that happened here. You earned yourself a federal lawsuit. I know you might hear that a lot, and a lot of people don't follow through, but... I definitely will be. I promise you that. So I wonder what they're hiding in here, ladies and gentlemen. We've already gotten our threat of arrest. Oh, such a beautiful day. I have a lot of things to do here in San Antonio. And there goes another officer here. So you can see they have four officers stationed here in this tent. You show them a wristband and then you walk down here. Let's take a look around. And this is like an old warehouse. The research I was doing, the reason why I wanted to come here is because I saw that in the Google reviews that people were by accident turning inside of this facility here and they were getting treated really badly by the security guards here. I did not know that there's law enforcement actually uh, stationed here. Fellow Patriots, let me know your thoughts on what happened here today on the Migrant Resource Center that's right in front of us here. On the law enforcement officers, the four law enforcement officers, there was six law enforcement officers in total at one point. The other two went inside the resource center here. Six law enforcement officers and a sergeant, a supervisor, telling me they would arrest me. 
take my freedom away from me as a U.S. citizen all because I wanted to gain access and investigate public property, publicly accessible areas of this public property funded by taxpayers. I think that's pretty disgusting. This seems and smells like tyranny to me. Fellow Patriots, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below on everything that transpired here today. The Migrant Resource Center that we're looking at right now, the four law enforcement officers, there was six, two of them went back inside the Resource Center. The law enforcement officers that are threatening to arrest me as a U.S. citizen and take my freedom away from me, all because I wanted to investigate and access publicly accessible areas of public property, taxpayer-funded property. To me, it's absolutely disgusting, and it reeks of tyranny. This is tyranny, ladies and gentlemen. Where's the transparency? Where's the accountability? There is none. Put his hands on me, pushed me off the property. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. But put your comments down below. As always, stay safe. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Long Island Audit. Peace.